look at uh, tenure, which are property rights to land and other natural resources. And we also uh, work on how people coordinate among themselves and with the government and with private sector on managing those natural resources. Sometimes that really seems abstract, but unless people have secure property rights to those resources, then they don't invest in them so you don't get as much agricultural productivity. You get more environmental degradation. And um, things like groups like pastoralists, who are very often the most efficient producers in dryland areas, um, they lose their livelihoods because they lose the rights to use the land. Um, and women within this area often lose their rights to resources or need special attention to make sure that they have secure rights. And then the governance side is even when people have secure rights to the resources, how do they coordinate with their neighbors so that those resources are used sustainably? So uh, one of the exciting things for me is uh, several of us are using games as a way to get people to understand how their work, how what they do affects other people and get them to agree to rules to use the resources more sustainably. We've done this for groundwater and um, Thomas Falk from ICRISAT is doing this with uh, surface water and we're really seeing some very positive outcomes of that. So um, I think we're making a name for ourselves. Uh, groups like the um, African Land Policy Center have asked us to help them develop the monitoring and evaluation framework for 12 countries in Africa to look at how land governance um, commitments are being met and how this links into the sustainable development goals. So it's a really exciting time where there's demand for, for the research that we're doing. We're starting to see results where policies are adopted that actually secure tenure for pastoralists in Tanzania, for example. <laughs>